let me say this. McLuhan defined art as programming the environment. It's sort of understanding that it had effects, which you didn't notice before. Now you know the effects, so now you try to control them. And he always said legislation was useless, but often legislation is the beginning, the impulse, or the mood to, uh, oh, we now see what that environment has done to us. Now let's try to control it. And that is always a reflex to a new environment is not being noticed. So to control the internet, which didn't happen, this soap didn't happen 10 years ago, 18 years ago, it happens now, which means that it's being noticed, <clears throat> so they, will, they want to program and control it. And that is a mood coming from something else, a new invisible environment. Since that's a shock, a new environment is always a shock to people and they don't want to see it. It's a strain to see it. They will start getting nervous and having a conscience and expressing community values or preservation values on an older technology. So this preservation of the internet, of saving it, is an exact reflex of what in, um, in the 50s, McCarthyism was an attempt to retrieve individual industrial American values as their... Uh, because they were afraid of the communism effect of the TV software environment, where everybody could watch and have the same wealth as the TV in the 50s. That to the American was a tribal sharing or communism. And so they thought communism was taking over America. But they, they made it by arresting people's verbal statements or who they had hung out with in the 30s. See, so, so television created McCarthyism. So the new initial landscape is creating the McCarthyism of the chickpot. See, so always the roots of those previous situations. All this old content messaging, trying to trying to uh, find values in the, when there was information. It's ignoring the post information. The internet brought in the post information audience. Now we've got a post post information society obsolescing the, the internet. That is the effect of a new environment. So what you have is humans always like to clean things up. What do you do with it every day? You get up, you brush your teeth, you sweep the floor, you wipe the counter. We're always sort of tidying up, right? So, uh, there's, so there's the archetypal human cultural need to tidy up things and sort of just uh, get the aesthetics going of your immediate environment. So on a massive level, we now are going to tidy up, tidy up the internet or there's an impulse to do it because there's a new wolf at the door. You know what I mean? It's again whistling in the dark. There's always humans do their daily work, their daily rituals, their ablutions because they can't look at the void. So they clean up stuff or they eat. And, and, and your, your argument is, is the void is now appearing and which you would describe as a mystery landscape. Yeah, the void is always the new environment. Like radio was the void in the 20s, TV was the void in the 30s. Uh, Gutenberg was the void in 1500, you know what I mean? It's always a new, unmeasurable, shocking uh, disruption of the sensory habit. Well, boy, is maybe the, the death of the euro. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, the, uh, right now, we're seeing the death of digital currency. It's not about the euro, the dollar, or this currency, or the UN, or anything. It's about the breakdown of the agreed consensus of digital exchange. So, in other no words, currency, there's no currency possible in this situation. And the digital currency, which was the real currency the last 30 years, you know, the typing, typing, typing. Uh, I would like to say Enron getting loans and calling a profit. Um, that was the only way they could define old visual money stuff. The old currency, that was irrelevant. The digital currency has collapsed. Now people don't know what is valuable for storing. They don't know where to put their wealth. They don't know where to, where to save vault. What's going to be a safe vault? And McCool wrote that in the 70s. He wrote in his article on the media approach inflation for the New York Times. He said that Lloyd's was now insuring anything and everything. That's an early form of looking for value in a losing cause. No, no hardware object can be uh, security anymore. And if they're doing art, they started doing art with MoMA in, uh, in the 30s, right? The rock sellers then did, they set up art to be a, a, an elite a commodity for the uh, wealthy, the ones who no longer owned money, because when the 30s came in, money became public property, known as the welfare state, which reminds me, another phrase McLuhan had day today was, was the welfare-warfare state. They go together, welfare and warfare. Welfare-warfare state. Um, 
so the uh, to uh, what what is what where is, so public property the public property of money force the uh, private owners of money before the 30 to start owning painting <laughs> and art and that ex inflated till now you know it's uh, absurd and now if you're saying that's a trend that would be by people who are just nouveau riche